Dear Diary, I'm Jordan and you're not. And this is my review on Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. Yeah. I saw the original in the theater last year, but it's been a year since I've seen it. So after I watched the movie, this newer movie, I went out and rented it so I could refresh my memory. I wish I could have found it before I saw this one, but it's okay. I'll think of it like a prequel. So from what I remember, I think this one might have been a little bit better than the original. It was really funny. It had a lot of awesome jokes. Of course, this one is about Roderick Moore, Greg Heffley's brother. At times, you'll feel sorry for Roderick, and other times, you'll think, what an asshole. But most of the time, I thought he was pretty cool. He was also the guy who was in Saw 6. You remember Saw 6? You know, he pulled the lever and killed William Easton, you know, with the acid pouring through his stomach. Yeah, that was him. So in this one, he wears goth makeup and eyeliner, which made him look awesome. I am not gay. Don't judge me. So this time, Greg and Roderick's mom thinks that they should bond more. And the more they bond, they will get mom bucks. And they can cash in and get real money. That's an awesome idea. So Greg and Rowley and Fregley and all the other characters that you care about are going to seventh grade this time. And they're all in love with a girl named Holly. So Greg tries to get Holly to like him. There's a bunch of different storylines going on at the same at different times. When um, Greg and Roderick's parents leave for the weekend, they just, they throw a party, and they come back the next. The parents come back the next day, but they don't know it. So Roderick and Greg have to work together to try to clean the house. And on the door of the bathroom it says Roderick rules. So Roderick and Greg try to switch the door out, and they try to cover up a lie that that the original door had a lock, but this new door doesn't. It's really heartwarming when the Greg and Roderick really bond together and become more like brothers. But then things don't go right, and then they Roderick kind of bullies him again, just like the old days. Like making a video of Greg in his underwear running around a senior citizen's home. That was kind of funny. It reminded me of the Little Rascals a little bit. You remember when Alfalfa was doing that? Okay, that's off topic. Their, their school, Westmore, is holding a talent competition, and Roderick wants to enter the competition with his band, but when they get in trouble, the parents ground them so they can't enter the competition, which pretty much breaks Roderick's heart. So Greg's going to have to try to make it up to Roderick. That's a weird name, you know, Roderick. Anyway. This is a pretty fun film for the whole family. I think you know everybody in the family would like it. So in all, I would give this movie a B plus. And I'm sure that next year we will get Diary of a Wimpy Kid: The Last Straw, which is the third book in the series. So I think they're going to try to do them like one each year, kind of like like the Saw movies or something. I'm sorry, I keep talking about Saul. Well, for one thing, Roderick was in Saul 6. Seriously, he was. So I guess this concludes my review and my diary. Why do I even have a diary? How come no girls ever call me? Alright, so I'm just rambling on right now, diary. I'm sorry. XOXO, Gossip Girl! Scratch that. That makes me sound gay. That's not cool. Um, peace out, diary. For real.